Hey, just put the mark I passed this way. What is this? Somebody's having a good day, huh? Oh, boy, am I ever. Come on, take a sniff. Wait, a sniff of what? Exactly. The stench is gone, isn't it? Uh. So how do I smell? More lily or lilac, would you say? I don't know, uh, lilies, I guess? Lilies are my favorite scent. Finally, I can approach the most wonderful lady in the world without shame. And it's all thanks to the guy that opened the tap for... Wait a sec. Holy fuck, it's you. You're Aiden. Maybe. If that's so, may I ask some of you? There's this certain item I'd like to give my Madeline. Okay, what? A red dress from the old clothes shop at the beginning of Station Road in Quarry End. I know how it sounds, but Madeline, she wore a dress like that once. It'll bring back our old memories from before. You know, from before everything. I'll be a geezer before I manage to get in there. You understand? Meanwhile, some fancy man's been hanging around Madeline. Right, so you don't have much time. Exactly. Look, see that picture behind me? It'll show you what you're looking for. It's a miracle! We got the power back! Found it. Oh, shit. Listen, Aiden, there's one more thing. I saw your face when you told me how I smell. You were lying, weren't you? What? Listen, I... Relax. It is what it is, I know. I rubbed myself with flowers, but it didn't help. I really don't want to mess up this date with Madeline. I need perfume, Aiden. If you could go to the old pharmacy on Market Street, I'll be in your debt till the end of the world. If you do it, I've got something to give you. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Okay, got the perfume. The horse? Uh, Aiden. Um, so the thing is, uh, so the situation has um, changed. Changed? Listen, Horace, if you ask me to fetch one more thing, I'd... Uh, no, no, uh, this isn't a chat for the radio. Come here as quick as you can. Really? I mean, yeah. Of course. Then take a shame you never had time for me before. I was busy. Real busy. But inside, I've always been fond of my Horace. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to have a word with my friend. Just don't keep me waiting. That's not Madeline, is it? I, I know what you're thinking, but it's not like that, Aiden. She's the one who came on to me. That bath, man. I think it gave me... It's the confidence, man. Women sense it. And what about Madeline? I love her, you know, but... I mean, did you check out Ada? Never even come close to a beauty like that before. And she's great to talk to. Uh, and we both like climbing. And she laughs at my jokes. 
I mean, not many do, mind you. She came up to me and just sort of latched on. Fuck. Fuck, who do I choose? Sometimes a bitter truth is better than a sweet-smelling lie. I mean, he barely met that Ada, right? But the way you looked at that picture of Madeline, and how you were still thinking of her after all this time, <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. You're young, but I gather you've seen your share, being a pilgrim and all. Telling everyone. 